choose the calendar from the templates here or go to File, New from Template, and you'll see this. Sometimes you may start off here, click on More Templates, and you'll see the calendar. Open up the calendar, enable macros, and you'll be presented with a tool that allow you to pick the particular month and year. Here, Microsoft assumes you're going to want to create a calendar into the future. For our purposes, we're going to want to create a calendar from the past. So let's say our client was involved in a collision in March of 2019. We can enter the date there, and Microsoft would enter and create a calendar based on that. You can choose different themes or different looks for the calendar. One of the problems you have when you go to enter information is you can't quite figure out which day you're entering information into. If you right click in the lower area, you'll see borders and shading, and then you can choose, for example, grid. And when you do that, click OK, and it applies a grid, so now you know exactly where you are entering information. So let's say your client was in a collision on this day, went to the ER, and maybe missed work. You can copy the information, paste it in, tab over, and enter the information pretty quickly. And let's say they also went to, on the 5th, they went to their family doctor. You can in easily enter information and create a calendar for use. So this is an example of using the Microsoft Office template. You could print it to a PDF, use it as a blow-up, or use it in a demand package.